Hi everyone, I'm Sumit Roy. I'm developing Android apps for almost two years now. I have helped hundreds of students to learn Android development so far. And in this video, I will share with you the full Android development roadmap, all of the fundamental topics that you need to cover, and also free quality learning resources for you to learn each of the topics. And this will be a detailed roadmap on Android development, unlike the other roadmap videos, which only redirects you to another course. Here we will be going through each of the fundamental topics that you need to know to become an Android developer. I will also share the certificates that truly adds value to your profile and are recommended by Google and some great Android development YouTube channels that I personally follow and also some tips for you to speed up your learning process. First of all, for Android development, you need to know a programming language which can be Java or Kotlin. In 2019, Google I.O. Google announced that Android development will be Kotlin first from now. So I highly recommend you to learn Kotlin if you are serious about Android development as the industries and all of the projects are using it. And for learning Kotlin, you can follow the steps that I have mentioned here. For learning Kotlin, first you have to set up your development environment. Then you need to get familiar with the Kotlin syntax to write your first Hello World program. After doing that, you can get familiar with the Kotlin basics. By basics, I mean the data types, operators, variables, how to work with booleans and conditions, and also exploring nullable and non-nullable variables. You can also learn about the arrays and list and loops in Kotlin. After that, you can learn about how to create a function and also learn about the basic lambdas in Kotlin. And then you can learn about the classes, objects, and inheritance in Kotlin. And then you can learn about collections, constraints, and extension functions in Kotlin. You can also learn about the generic classes and methods in Kotlin. At the end, you need to learn about functional manipulation. You need to learn about annotations, label breaks, single abstract methods. You also need to learn about lambdas and high order functions. Don't get overwhelmed. I will share the resources for you to learn all of it by doing practical implementations. And for learning all of these topics, you can go through this course which covers all of it. Here you can see the introduction part where you will set up your development environment. And you can also see the basics here and how to create functions and classes and functional manipulation. Only problem with this course is it was made in 2018. It was not updated from then and lot of the things have changed. Another option is Android Code Labs. Again, all of the links will be provided in the description below. It is based on Code Labs and it covers all of the topic that I mentioned. You can see uh, functions, classes, objects, extensions, generic, function manipulation. And this is more updated compared to the Udacity course. But here you won't get video tutorials as all of the uh, code labs are text based. Another option for you is to find on YouTube. There are some great resources in YouTube also. You can see which you like and just go through one of this. I will also link this search query in the description below. After you are done with learning the required Kotlin for Android development, you can learn about the Android fundamentals. First to get started with Android fundamentals, you need to set up your development environment and build your first Hello World Android app, which I think is the toughest part in Android development as this is the point where most of the people quit. But I want you to stick around and make this thing happen. After doing the environment setup, you can learn about Android layouts, how to use Android Studio layout editor to create linear layout and constant layouts, how to change visibility and colors of views and also about layout inflation and data binding. When you are done with layouts, you can learn about app navigation. You can learn about how to create useful navigation in an app, how to use Android Studio navigation graph, how to change the destination of system's back button. And then you need to learn about activity and fragment life cycles. You can learn about how to manage complex life cycle situations. Spoiler alert, activity and fragment life cycles are the things that get asked most in the interviews. And you can also learn about Android's new life cycle libraries, which helps you to manage life cycle events. After that, you need to learn about architecture components. You need to learn about how to use view models and live data objects here. You also need to learn about how to integrate live data and view models with data binding 
so the views in the layouts communicate directly with the view model objects and then you need to learn about room database an easy to use local database for android you also need to learn about kotlin coroutines which basically helps us to move the operation away from the main thread when you are done with room and coroutines then you need to focus on recycler view you will be using recycler view a lot in your android development journey recycler view in android is basically a efficient way to display list and grid of items after that you need to learn about networking you need to learn about how to use third party libraries to connect to a web service and retrieve data from there and also how to do other operations with it then you need to learn about repository it is basically a abstract layer over the data layer to provide a more cleaner architecture to the app you will also need to learn about work manager to schedule background tasks at the end you need to learn about android designing how to use themes and styles in android how to use material design how to make your app more accessible to everyone and for learning all of this you can go through this course by google you can find all of the topics that i mentioned here the only trade off with this course is it was made in 2018 19 so many of the things have changed Another option is Android Code Labs which covers all of the topics that I mentioned and is more updated just like other resources you will find the link for this in the description below the only trade off here is you won't get video tutorial in it if you are someone who likes video over text like me you can go through this playlist which i have created here i go through all of the topics that you will get you started for android development another option is this new course by google which also goes through the fundamental topics and is really interactive i would say if you don't like any of the previous options you can always search on youtube there are some great resources out there this one from free code camp is pretty nice you can choose whichever you like from here and after you are done with the fundamentals you can always go through this advanced course by google which covers notifications advanced graphics animation how to use geolocation how to do testing and dependency injection in android and also how to support user login in your app and after that you will be more than ready to make projects and contribute to one if you are interested in certifications there are two certificates that are recommended by google one is associate android developer certification you can sign up for the exam here the exam fees is 149 dollars which is roughly 11000 rupees and again certificates are not mandatory at all If you can showcase your projects and open source contributions it will add great value to your profile and make you more credible to the person on the other side another one is university nano degree if you want you can also do this so these were the certificates now here are some youtube channels that i personally follow and recommend first one is android developers it is the official channel by google for android development you can find all of the new updates in android and see all of the android advocates here it's a great channel and then you can see coding in flow i personally really like this channel you can find one of the most high quality android development videos here then there is another channel by rahul pande which i really like you can find some great android development videos here and then you can also follow philip lackner he also produces great content on android development you can also find some great tutorial here and then you can also follow my channel I very frequently upload Android development videos and try to make it as high quality as possible. <sighs> so that's it. So these were the resources that I wanted to share with you. And in the end I want to share some tips that really worked out for me. First one will be to don't think much, start building projects. Try to practically implement anything that you are learning in your project or in any open source project. Second tip will be to contribute to open source. This will really fast track your learnings. as you will be contributing with some of the experts in the field third tip will be to join android communities for mentorship you can get mentorship from senior android developers there which will really benefit you and will fast track your process and the last tip will be to avoid tutorial hell and learn as you go no one knows everything and you also don't have to you can always learn on the go as you counter the problem and no matter how experience you get you will always face problems that you haven't earlier 
so having this attitude of learn as you go will really benefit you so that's it for now if you still have any questions you can always reach out to me in my discord server you can find the joining link in the description below and if you like this video and want to watch more programming videos like this consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel and see you in the next video